want you to come to your to your to your TV and check out this. All right. What you're looking at here is a little spinning inflow into a storm. Is that a tornado? <laughs> mm, not exactly. But tonight we're going to take you to school in Weather Underground University. So the professor is here. <laughs> Our storm specialist, Carl Parker, going to walk us through this, Carl. And we can speed this up a little bit, and maybe it gives our viewers a little bit different perspective about what this is what this is doing. Yeah, so what's happening here is we've got an area of rotating inflow that's coming in like this and then it's being tilted up into the vertical and that is becoming our rotating updraft and a supercell thunderstorm is one that has a rotating updraft. That's the very definition of a supercell storm. So you've got this spin that occurs and there are a couple of mechanisms that get that going. First of all, you've got what's called environmental shear and we can show you what that looks like in a schematic. So you've got the inflow right here. There's the warm and humid air that's going into the storm. There's the inflow right there. So that's the inflow right in here. But then on top of that, you've got a flow in the low levels of the atmosphere that is going across that. And so because it's going across that, it's causing that inflow to rotate in those areas. So we've got this spin that's occurring. We've got the spin that's occurring right in there with the inflow that is then going up and into the storm. Can we go back to the video and, sure. and, and tie it all together for us again, Carl? So there mm -hmm. it is. Yep. So here is our inflow right there. That's the warm and humid air that's going up and into the storm right there. But because there are stronger winds that are coming across the top side of that, that is getting that area of inflow spinning. So it's already spinning here and then it continues to spin as it's tilted up and into the vertical right there. And that's the origin of our rotating updraft. But that's not the only thing that's happening. That's how we get it going in the first place. But then on top of that, there's also cool air that we've all felt that is coming down on the forward side of the storm. It's coming down right through here. And as cool air comes down, it's very dense. And so the coldest part of that air slides underneath. And then you've got air coming up and on top of that. And that too also helps to create a rolling motion. That's called baroclinic vorticity. So that is adding to that. Now I'm going to show you an amazing computer simulation. This is from Dr. Lee Orff, and he's from the University of Wisconsin in Madison. And this is showing you that rotating inflow, and this is being maintained here by that baroclinic vorticity on the forward flank downdraft. You can see it very clearly going up and wrapping into the updraft of the storm. Isn't that an incredible animation? It is pretty amazing. Yeah. This doesn't necessarily mean, though, tornado. No, it doesn't. We're just talking about rotating updraft in this case. Because you've got the environmental shear, because you've got the forward flank downdraft coming down, because you've got this bear clinic vorticity, all of that is creating this spinning updraft. That's just getting the updraft going. That's part of it. But then as cool air comes down on the back side of that, it helps to create even more shear. And that is what finally gets the tornado going. It's an incredibly complex machine and everything has to be balanced perfectly to get that tornado going. We learn something all the time about severe weather. We don't perfectly understand tornadoes no, we just don't. yet. We, we know don't. a lot, but not everything. That's Carl, right. thank you. Now back over to Ryan in the cave. Yeah, and that YouTube video is just mesmerizing. I'll tweet that out in a minute so you can see it too. But we're going to be answering your questions next. If you have any questions on that or what we've been talking about tonight, get on Twitter, do hashtag WTV, and we'll answer questions like this one from Brooke. Regarding the next round of storms for Texas beginning this weekend, how does it look with regard to tornadoes? Mike? All right, thank you very much, Ryan. Time to test your weather IQ and a little Weather Channel trivia for you in the Weather Channel's 34th anniversary this week. What is the name of the Weather Channel's sister network in Canada? The Weather Channel Canada, the Weather Network, or Weather Canada? Think about it. The answer coming back after this break.